tutorial for you and it is for this look here so if you like to see how I got this look please continue watching okay so I'm starting out with primer and I'm using the city cosmetics pore minimizing primer and I'm just going to place some on the back of my hand about this much because you really don't need um, really don't need a lot of this so I'm gonna just place this all over my face Okay, so what I'm going to do next is um, take this Max Luster Drops, and this one is in Sunrush, and I am using my uh, Beauty Blender from Simply View, and you can find these for um, four for twenty dollars on her website, which I will link below. It's a great deal. I love these things because it works like a charm. Like the coverage you get. The finish you get from this is, is really, really wonderful and it's it's kind of better than the original Beauty Blender. I've had like two or three of those and I, I love these much better than the actual original Beauty Blenders. So what I'm doing is just applying this to my face in the places that I would normally want the sun to hit me. It gives you a nice subtle glow. And now I'm taking my Max Full Coverage Foundation. And I'm gonna use my finger to kind of warm up the product and then place it to my face and then I'm going to go over it with my Beauty Blender for more blendability. Okay, so now I'm going to highlight and contour, and I will be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealers in the um, Cool Tan and also in the Dark Cocoa. So I'm starting out with the Cool Tan for my highlight. blender to blend everything together. And now to contour, I'm going in with that dark cocoa. And now to set everything, I'm using the Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Setting Powder. And I'm just gonna place this everywhere that I highlighted.
So now while that is setting, I'm going to go in and start my brows. And I'm going in with the Whitening Lightning uh, Brow Bar to go. So I'm starting with the wax first, which is right here. And taking the brush that it comes with, and I'm just going to apply that to my brows to hold the hairs in place. So now I'm taking the lightest color in the kit, which is this one here, and my MAC uh, 208 brush. I'm going to start filling in my brows. And I'm taking the darker color, which is that one in the middle, and I'm gonna use that for the tail end of my brows. And I'm just going to comb them out. And now I'm going in with some concealer. I'm just going to use what's on the back of my hand, which is some of the um, LA Girl Pro Conceal Cool Tan. I normally use my um, Studio Finish from MAC, but since this is on the back of my hand, I want to get rid of it. I'm just going to use that. Okay, so for my lid as a base, I'm using the Soft Orca Paint Pot. And I'm gonna use this um, Real Techniques, what brush is this? The base shadow brush, going to help me, this is going to help me place that color right there on the lid. So for my first color, which is going to be my transition color, I'm taking Soft Brown from MAC, which is right there, and this brush from Morphe, and it is the M441 brush, and I'm just going to build this color up. And now taking Embark, just that dark brown color there. I'm gonna take that with my 224 brush from MAC, and I'm just going to start building up some um, intensity with this color. Not too much, because you still wanna be on the natural side, but you just wanna kinda give your eye just a little bit more definition. And now for the lid, I'm taking the Max um, Soft and Gentle. I'm using this as a shadow. So I'm taking my 242 brush from MAC and I'm just going to use that to um, apply right there to my lid. And then of course you want to blend that out. So I'm taking that Morphe brush again and I'm just going to blend everything together. And for my waterline, I'm going to be using the Max Teddy Eye Cold Pencil. And to 
help me blend that out, I'm taking the Max 209 brush. I think this is the 209 brush. 239 brush. Kind of rubbed off, sorry. And I'm going back in with the soft brown again. And I'm going to just blend out that um, pencil with this color. And then taking just a little bit of Embark, I'm going to deepen up that outer corner just a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the rest of the face. I'm taking the Max Give Me Sun, and I'm going to use this as my contour. And I'm taking this angle brush to do that. I'm just gonna switch up the brush just so I can um, contour my nose a little bit better. And this is the 217 brush from MAC. And now to give this a little bit of definition with the contour, I'm going in with the Max um, Matte Bronze Bronzer, and it's all broke and stuff. But um, yeah, just going to take that and contour just a little bit more. And now for a nice, beautiful glow, I'm taking this um, Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the uh, shade Gold Digger, and it's so gorgeous. So I'm just using what's in the cap and my fan brush, and I'm just going to apply that to the highest points of my face. Okay, and now for the cheeks, I'm taking Max Eternal Sun Blush, and I'm just using just a little bit of this. And now I'm just gonna blend everything together with this uh, brush from Sedona Lace, which is the FB03. And I'm just going to add some mascara and I'm taking my Benefits Their Real Mascara to apply to the top and the bottoms of my lashes. And now for my lips, I'm taking my um, Jordana Lip Pencil and this one is in Rock and Rose going to line my lips with this and now taking my Gerard Cosmetics lip gloss this one is in Shimmer of Hope and it's like a pinky nude color it's so gorgeous look at that light fabulousness so yeah I'm gonna apply that all over my lips and it's does have a mirror on there and now to finish off the look I'm going to spray my face with my max fix plus okay guys so this is the finished look I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in my next video